For the last several years, we've seen ESPN continue to go downhill, see them continue to bleed viewers as they push identity politics, push social justice, and continue to make political talking points more important than the sports they're covering. And now, the face of the company is even admitting that. Stephen A. Smith, who has had a lot of takes I don't agree with over the years, certainly, is coming out and straight up admitting that we were pushing people away, that we got so invested in politics that we decided we Need to put a stop to this because people are leaving. Stephen A. Smith, we did get to a point over the years at ESPN where it was too much politics. Now, I heard this live on the Pat McAfee show. I think yesterday was when Stephen A. Smith was on there. He was talking about DeMar Hamlin. He was talking about the uh, the playoffs. So he was talking about everything, right? But at the beginning, when he said why he's starting his own personal podcast that talks about things other than sports, he gave a reason why. And it was very, very damning for ESPN. Stephen A. Smith is one of the biggest personalities in sports media and has become the highest paid employee at ESPN, making a whopping $12 million per year. Some people hate him, others love him, but there's no denying he's always polarizing. Smith recently joined Pat McAfee's podcast to promote his new No Mercy podcast, which is completely owned by him and not affiliated with ESPN. And we're going to let him talk a little bit here because he says why he wanted to do this podcast that wasn't sports. Pat asks a probing question, and then Stephen A. continues to give the reason that we have known for a long time about what's going on at ESPN. But to me, I didn't want to be limited and confined to the world of sports. It was important to me to be able to extend my, to expand my horizons and step out beyond that because there's a lot of politics, social issues, pop culture and entertainment, Kanye West to Kyrie, the list goes on and on. That's I like to be able to talk about all of it and not be limited by it. And I couldn't do that doing a sports podcast for ESPN. So it was important really? for me to own and operate my own. Now, Pat gives, Pat says, that's, that's weird because, you know, to me, uh, I've seen a lot of these sports networks, probably ESPN included, really focusing pretty hardcore on politics lately. I thought there was a time there where that was almost being promoted at some sports networks, not just ESPN, but everywhere. Was that something that you thought you wanted to do more of because they were telling you to do more of there for a time? Or was there a conversation about you should do less politics on ESPN? Or did you just feel like it wasn't the right time or place and you're looking for the right time or place and that's on No Mercy where you can really dive in a little bit deeper? Or how'd that all come about, you think, with I'm, you? I'm, I've never been an aficionado when it comes to the world of politics or even social justice issues, but I've always had a passion for current news. I've been a journalist my entire career. And so for me, I've always paid attention of what's going on in the world of news. When Jimmy Pitaro came on board, obviously he made a concerted effort for us not to get into politics per se. And I want to tell you that I stood up and support him on that, and I still do, because we did get to a point over the years at ESPN where it was too much polit politics. It was the politiz politicization of too many different things. And with the sports fan got to a point where they were sending a message that they didn't feel like their needs were being met. And so Jimmy Pitaro comes on board and he instantly addressed that, and I supported that because I think people have a right to get what they tune in to see from you. My argument, however, was, yes, I will give you that, but when I step away and I have other interests, there's nothing wrong with that either. And then the argument was, now, and I think, listen, that's obvious. To any normal fucking person, that has been obvious. That's why ESPN has been failing. That's why woke sports media has been failing. Fans have been stepping away because it's just so overtly political and only to one side. That's why so many people have a problem with that. Uh, but for Stephen A. Smith to acknowledge that, for ESPN to acknowledge that, yet you still will tune in there nearly daily and still see what seems to be some pretty political content at times is kind of weird. You know, the, the fact that what we see now is with them acknowledging that there was too much politics and we're still seeing stuff like this. Stephen A. Smith certainly not blameless when it comes to that. He's involved things like that before. But I do think at the same time, if you watch enough Stephen A. Smith, you can say that he doesn't necessarily take these same position every single time on a lot of these things. Sometimes he's a little, shockingly, Stephen A. Smith is somewhat a little more nuanced at times than a lot of other people at ESPN, which is a really sad thing for ESPN. But to hear it coming out of Stephen A. Smith's mouth is pretty amazing, isn't it? That the people at ESPN realize what the fans have been saying, that they know it's too political and they actively tried to back off that. Now, I don't know if they have enough power to put a stop to it completely or else there'll be a woke uprising at ESPN. 
but they're admitting that very same thing. Stephen A. Smith said, you know what? It was clear there was too much politics. People have a right to tune in to what they, or to get what they want, actually want to tune into. And that's not politics at ESPN. I think there's a long way to go before these guys officially learn that lesson if their current ratings and if their current content is anything to be judged by. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below about Stephen A. Smith's admission that ESPN is too political. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.